Hi all, I thought I'd do a quick video on a new little application that I'm writing to run on my Raspberry Pi. Now, the application is written in C Sharp and will be running on the Raspberry Pi under the mono runtime environment. Now the application is for voice commands to tie in with my home automation system. Let's run the application and I'll show you how it works. So the application consists of this WinForm application and inside it is just a multi-line text box that has been docked. I'm going to be using that multi-line text box to output debug information during the development phase. The application sits there and waits for certain keyword audio phrases to be said. Now it won't let you say most of the voice commands unless the system is in an aware state. So to pull it in the aware state, we have to say enable Red Queen awareness. So now she's in an aware state and she's waiting for additional keywords to be said. After 10 seconds, she falls out of that aware state. Now she's sitting idle waiting for the awareness to be triggered again. So let's do that and I'll show you the demo keywords that I have in place at the moment. Enable Red Queen awareness. Enable back garden lighting. So as you can see, she's enabled the back garden lighting. So now when this back garden lighting function is triggered, it will publish a message to my MQTT server under a specific topic for the back garden lighting. And my ESP8266 device will be subscribed to that topic. Upon seeing the new published message, depending on if it's a true or false boolean value, it will either enable or disable the lighting. And it does that through the latching or unlatching a relay that has the 240 volt AC lighting attached to it. Let me clear this out and let me demo it one more time for you. Enable Red Queen awareness. She's now in an aware state and we can trigger that command. Enable back garden lighting and the back garden lighting has been enabled. And this code is still in the alpha stage. I've literally only just written it and got it all working, but the proof of concept at the moment seems to be working really, really well. If you want me to produce more videos on this code and show you how it's progressing along, then please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to produce them videos. If you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots of fun videos like this coming up. So I think that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you later. Cheers, guys. Bye.